I'm going to teach you about ants and aphids, like the relationship that they have with one another, because I went on this uh, information like rabbit hole the other day, because if you're a neurodivergent, you probably love new information as well, and it's a great way to bring new energy into your life, even if they don't seem like they'd be correlated for you, it's, it's still great to learn new things, and I watched like 10 videos on ants and then got on this one, so I wanted to share what I learned. If you're not a fan of bugs, now's the time to scroll. This is an aphid, it's a little green bug, and what it does is it eats plants. Like, if you ever see holes in plants, that's them. <laughs> okay, so they're sometimes a problem for farmers. Fun fact, where I live in Georgia, there used to be a huge aphid problem, and there's farms everywhere. So, like, years ago, like 20, 30 years ago, they brought in ladybugs, which eat aphids, and they scattered them all over the state. So, during the summertime, we have a huge influx of ladybugs. They are everywhere. <laughs> the cool thing that I learned is aphids are born pregnant. And they're not actually reproducing babies. They are clones of the main one. <laughs> and so they just keep recloning themselves and like reproducing that same DNA. Then if there are too many aphids somewhere, like in like a farm or like a nursery or somewhere, what they will do is start producing clones of themselves with wings. And so that those babies will fly off and create like a new colony. Aphids also have a lot of predators, ladybugs, uh, wasps, just like a whole bunch of stuff, right? So they actually have this relationship with ants, like ant colonies, where the ants will protect them. Like bugs will try up and come and eat them and the ants will be like, peace out, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> And the aphids create this milk juice that comes out of their butt and the ants will go and get it from them. Like they'll tap them on the butt and then they'll like poop it out and then the ant eats it. <laughs> if you're interested in watching this documentary, you can find it here. It's on tube. And if you have any fun facts about ants or aphids, I would love to hear them in the comments or if this is new information for you too.